Hey ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents. This video is going to be entitled, The People You Love to Hate. I felt the need to do this because this morning, while I'm getting ready to write my adverse possession, which is regards to the video we talked about yesterday, I stumbled onto this video. I actually like Terrence Howard. And so Terrence Howard did a video. And in this video, he spoke about Jehovah's Witnesses. Terrence Howard himself is not one of Jehovah's Witnesses. At least he wasn't in 2009. Is he one now? I don't know. But he actually spoke very well. He actually used scripture in the interview. This is the name of the video. Terrence Howard on interview on Jehovah's Witnesses. It was done by NPR. Okay. And this person published this in 2017 but this was done a while ago this was done when the the youtube knocking was out the youtube knocking there's a um not youtube pbs series uh that talks about certain interviews and certain artists and it had one episode called knocking that was the son of a jehovah's witness who wasn't a Jehovah's Witness, who was a homosexual, and sorry, the Bible says that it does not condone homosexuality. Does that mean all homosexuals are going to die? No, that is not what the Bible says. The Bible just says he who practices such things will not inherit God's kingdom. Now, in order to inherit God's kingdom, not everybody inherits God's kingdom. Not every Jehovah's Witness is on the planet will inherit God's kingdom. Will they inherit the earth? No, that's a different thing, and most people don't understand the difference. However, you go through the comments and there are a bunch of ignorant people, and all they want to do is talk about Jehovah's Witnesses. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Terrence Howard is not sitting up here acting like he is a staunch advocate, that he is the most perfect person in the world. He actually talks about the fact that he smokes. You, sorry, cigarette smoking and Jehovah's Witnesses, cigarettes do harm to your body. And so an individual must make an active effort to quit. They know it's an addiction, and that's why they will work with people and do whatever possible to help the person stop. Now, some people may have an opinion of that. Ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't matter what your opinion is. It doesn't matter what my opinion is. If the scriptures say no, and the scriptures make it quite clear that we cannot do anything to intentionally harm our bodies, Sorry, and because the scriptures say that, and I'll prove it to you, that is why some some Catholics will say, that's right, I use that word, some Catholics will say that if you commit suicide, you're bound to eternal damnation. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I never knew damn had a nation. But if you go, boy, okay, if you want a nation, you go ahead and get you a nation. Ain't nobody going to stop damn from having a nation. Okay, if 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 rock can have a nation, then damn can have a nation. Damn nation, go right ahead. Okay, that is not the case. The true God has never been so hateful. Only man is that hateful. Man learns that hatred from its father. But God is the father. No. Jesus made it quite clear who is the father of man. What are you talking about? John. Is that... I, you know, I, I get confused sometimes about 844 and 644 because I haven't turned there in a while because it's just by memory. But I know it's one of them 44s. 44s what? 448, 449, 4410, 4411. Come on now. Get with it. You're supposed to be there by now. Well, I'm a little slow because my hands are... Cramping up. No, 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 no. You can't use that as an excuse. Turn there. It is 844. I know it's 844 because he says you are from your father, the devil, and you wish you to the desires of your father. That one was a murderer when he began, and he did not stand fast to the truth because the truth not in him. When he speaks the lie, he speaks according to his own disposition because he's a liar and he's a father of the lie. That's what it says. 844. 644 talks about a different subject. Okay? Bread and all that other stuff. But 844. Okay. The interview this young man gives is well done. 
by the host and by him. He speaks on a couple of things and the host tries to divert him. She even tries to get him to say something negative and he corrects her. You see, uh, he talks about when they did the bio on him that it shows him as being one of Jehovah's Witnesses. And he makes point that, well, I'm not a Jehovah's Witness. However, if I had my choice, that's what I would be. And then he talks about the reasons. And it isn't because of anything other than he has some things in his life that he does that he personally doesn't want to walk away from. Or at the time, he personally didn't want to walk away from. I cannot speak for him now. I cannot speak for him ever because I don't know Mr. Howard. He and I have never talked. This is the first time. I think I did hear another video talking about him being associated with Jehovah's Witnesses. But this is the first time I've actually heard him talking about it. So, Mr. that I know of, Mr. Howard, I like I said, I like him as an actor. Okay? Um, but I've seen some things Mr. Damian Waynes has done, and he was a baptized Jehovah's Witness. Some of the things he's done, and I'm not too proud of him for doing those things. However, again, the people... Everyone loves to hate. Let's go to the next video. Can we go to the next video? We're going to go to the next video. What video is that? Well, in Russia, see, Angela Merkel and Vladimir Putin talk about Jehovah's Witnesses. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a look at Angela Merkel. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, you see these videos right here with these idiots? The ones who are talking about Jehovah's Witnesses, the ones who say they got information. Those are haters. You know what a hater is? They're only going to give you their side. Me? Those of you who come to my channel know that I am a baptized member of the congregation. That Jehovah's Witnesses are the people whom I associate with. However, my videos, like SATCOM, are not affiliated with Jehovah's Witnesses or SATCOM. I need you all to get that. My videos are my opinion, my satire, my antics. They're mine. Mine, 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 mine. That means that this is not where you go to learn about Jehovah's Witnesses. You don't go to YouTube to learn about Jehovah's Witnesses unless you go to the official channel of Jehovah's Witnesses. You go to a Jehovah's Witness to learn about Jehovah's Witnesses. You don't go to a news article to learn about Jehovah's Witnesses. However, let me show you how much Jehovah's Witnesses are hated throughout the world. You'll be hated by people of all the nations on account of my name. I'm sorry. Let me show you how much they are hated throughout the world. In Russia, they have, in the early 2017, said that Jehovah's Witnesses are extremists. This is not the first time Russia has done this. They said that the material in their literature, ladies and gentlemen, the literature you read that you get from Jehovah's Witnesses here in the States or you get in Zimbabwe, or you get in um, Montego Bay, or in Mozambique, or in Britain, or in New Zealand, or in Switzerland, or in Scotland. Yes, in over 240 countries in the world, the material is the same. The information is the same. You couldn't be organized if it were different. Jehovah's Witnesses is not like the first church of blah, 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 and the second church of blah, 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 and the third church of blah, blah, blah. Got all these different churches with the same so-called religion, and then they are all different beliefs. They teach different things. They don't teach the same thing. You have this church over here, which is the, um, uh, what they call Orthodox, and this church over here, which is called the Mainstream, and this church over here, which is called the Jet Stream, and this church over here, which is called the No Stream, and this church over here, which is called the M stream. Okay. Well, Jehovah's Witnesses don't have that. There are no factions. Jehovah's Witnesses are united. I, I got my opinion about them. Keep your opinion to yourself. Get your own so-called YouTube channel and write your opinion on a YouTube channel and become like the other idiots. Okay. But for now, this is my turn to speak. You want your turn to speak? Get your own video. But other than that, my turn to speak. So shut it up. Ladies and gentlemen, we are highlighting this video right here because this is going to show you, this is not Jehovah's Witnesses doing this video. <laughs> this is the news doing this video. And you're going to see, uh, to me, it's hilarious. Okay, because this is the reason they say they have banned 
Jehovah's Witnesses throughout Russia. That's right. It's actually illegal to be a Jehovah's Witness in Russia. It's illegal to go knocking on doors. Who is it? Jehovah's Witnesses. Oh, God, I'm busy. I am not home. I got my own religion. I got other things to do. Oh, God, I left for the Himalayans yesterday. Bye-bye. Okay. Pay attention. When the judge refused the request, what oh. after another? So, 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 got to go to the beginning. It Sorry. Seemed... Okay. The beginning. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of people. Oh, that's a lot of people. Looks like a lot of interest was in this court case where they were trying to ban them, 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 <laughs> knocking people. Oh, let's find out what the judges had to say. Supreme Court of the Russia. The judge refused the request one after another. It seemed that the whole matter had already been decided beforehand. Wait. The judge refused the request of the Jehovah's Witnesses. That's what he's saying. And he's saying the judge, just, it appeared, had already made a determination. So if you think there's injustice only in the United States, please understand the systems operate the same. That's why every country has attorneys that are members of the bar. Please do not text me, email me, or write me, or comment talking about the bar and who the bar is. And please don't do that, people. Many of you find me saying things on video where I don't go into detail because I've already gone into detail before and you think you're educating me on that. Please don't do that. Please don't think that you're giving me information. I know everybody wants to act like they're smart. Everybody wants to act like they're in the know. Everybody wants to share their knowledge. Thank you. I do appreciate that. But this is not a competition. I'm not trying to prove I know more than someone else. So please, when you write like that, it makes it appear that you're trying to prove that you know more than the person who gave the comment in the first place. As if you have something to add to the tea party. I am not asking for requests for people to add to a tea party. Okay? Here's the problem. <clears throat> Most people have set up here and they followed a certain trek. You guys know what a trek is? Well, it's not a star, okay? It definitely ain't a star, a discovery, or a next generation, or even a Voyager. No, most people get on this certain trek where they think that they've gathered some new exciting information because they've only been doing research for three or four months. Some people have been doing research for three or four years. Some people are doing research for a lifetime. But what they didn't know is that the research they were doing was propagated. It was propaganda. You guys know what propaganda is, don't you? No, it's not an STD. No, it's not an STD. No, no, no. That's propaganda. No, propaganda is... Wait, I forgot. What's propaganda? Anyway... And they don't realize that many of the videos and many of the information they were listening to, it's because those people who control information, that's right, I said those people who control information have put certain people out there to put forth information to distract you, to lead you on the wrong course. You know, such as, oh, you can do an OID. Everybody can do an OID. Let's go do IDs. It's free money. You can get as much as you want. I got a $485 billion check from the IRS. And everybody jumped on that bandwagon. They followed that track. And then they, oh, oh, I'm melting, I'm melting. They all got in trouble. You guys know what I'm talking about, don't you? To make you all think you didn't have the right to do an OID. OIDs can be done. They must be done properly. I did tell someone I was going to mention this to you all. This may not be the appropriate video to do it in because I'm talking about the people everyone loves to hate. But I'm going to give you a little tidbit. That's the problem with the people who don't listen to the videos. They don't get these tidbits. But you're going to get this tidbit. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're current in your mortgage, write the trustee through the so-called servicer, whoever's servicing your loan, write them, tell them that they are to inform the trustee that you would like to receive your 1099s 
and you need a copy of the 1099s for the past five years for this loan. Now they're going to have a problem at first, but you're going to send that priority mail so that you have a tracking number. You're going to make a copy of it. You're even going to put on the envelope request for 1099s enclosed. And you're going to take a photo of that envelope just before they mail it off so that you have proof that you made that request. Ladies and gentlemen, that is yours by right. It's called an election. If you don't believe me, you need to take a look at the general instructions for 1099s for 2014, 15, 16, 17, or 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006. Any of those general instructions will let you know that it is your election. And what you didn't know is they sent you a letter saying if you don't want to receive this anymore, then all you don't have to respond. If you want to receive this, you need to respond to us within this period of time or we're going to stop sending it to you. Okay, it's called the middleman. Middle, 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 middle man. He sent you that letter. That's the securitization trustee, by the way. That middleman sent you that letter because you are the trust interest holder or a recipient. You want to be a recipient, okay? You want to be on a receiving end. You're a recipient. Take a look at those instructions. I've already did a video telling you guys you need to take a look at those instructions. Ask them to send you your 1099s. But what if I'm in foreclosure? Then you ask them the same thing. Tell them they need to send you the 1099s for the past five years. Just as simple. Make the request. You have a right to make that request. You have 1099s associated with your property. You can do a 1099. They've been giving you the 1099s every year. If you get a house and it's a brand new house, ladies and gentlemen, they send you 1099s every year for the first three years and then they send you that letter talking about they're going to stop if you don't tell them to keep doing it. So you're going to elect to have them continue to do it. Okay? You are the recipient. You are by law to receive that. Okay, we're going to go on with this video. But as I was saying, in Russia, look at all these people. Look, ladies and gentlemen, most of these people in this audience, these are Jehovah's Witnesses. See, see that right there? You can tell he's a Jehovah's Witness. See that color of that shirt? Only Jehovah's Witnesses dress like that, y'all. I'm sorry, I don't have a lot of <laughs> credit to most Jehovah's Witnesses because some of them, I'm sorry, their color combination is horrible. I'm sorry, I used to be one of them, okay? But I can tell these are Jehovah's Witnesses only because of the way that they're dressed. I can tell which one is a Jehovah's Witness and which one isn't only because of the way they're dressed. By the way, he ain't no Jehovah's Witness, okay? Because Jehovah's Witnesses don't have that right there. They just don't do that. Okay, but this video isn't about Jehovah's Witnesses. This video is about the people who love to hate the people you love to hate. So let's continue. Lawyers excerpt. If the violations of Jehovah's Witnesses are evident in the literatures, do you have such facts that prove this? Ladies and gentlemen, this is a court case. This is a judge. He's asking the attorneys, hey, hey, you guys, hey, you're saying Jehovah's Witnesses are extremists and you're saying that they're extremists because of what they put in their literature. So do you have any copies of any of the literature which shows that it's um, extremist material? Let's find out what the attorneys had to say. No, I don't have these facts. Wait a minute. Aren't courts supposed to be about facts and conclusion of law? How can you bring a case against someone saying that they are terrorists or extremists and part of extremist activity against the Fuhrer, against the government, and then not produce the evidence? Is this America or is this Russia? It looks like America. Well, let's make sure. In court, the witnesses were questioned by about eight lawyers. They have failed to prove any fact that confirms any extremist activity of Jehovah's Witnesses. Wait, 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 wait. They failed to produce any facts that contain any information about any extremist activity? Uh-oh. Sorry. Once you label somebody as being a terrorist 
or a so-called massacrist or the relative of a terrorist or the relative of a massacrist, there's always violence. Why? Because of the stupid people. That's right, I said stupid people. They don't know how to read. They just let emotions run wild. So as long as it was in the news, and trust me, the news did not report that they didn't have any information. The news reported that they were being judged. That's why there's a judgment. Being judged for being extremists. Let's see what the people did, even though there was no evidence showing that these peaceful individuals, Jehovah's Witnesses are the most peaceful people on the planet, don't even talk about the Rosnicians and the so-called other people of the world who claim to be peaceful. Jehovah's Witnesses are not like those people. No, they go out of their way to help people. Let's listen. The same day of the verdict, strangers threw stones at the headquarters of Jehovah's Witnesses. Such acts were previewed by lawyer Maxim Novakov, who said, because of the status of extremists, there will be widespread use of violence against Jehovah's Witnesses. It just brings tears to my eyes, ladies and gentlemen. On April 30th, in the town of Akimsky, one of the villages aggressively broke a window of the house that hosted field services of Jehovah's Witnesses. The next day, the locals asked them to stop. Wait, the locals said, hey, what y'all did was wrong. We are not going to condone this in this neighborhood. See, this was a house that was being used by Jehovah's Witnesses for meeting for what they refer to as field service. The world is the field, so they meet to organize themselves to go knock on doors. See, it's not just they wake up in the morning and just start knocking on your door. No, they meet as a group first. They have a briefing, for lack of a better word, and then they will go to the area. You see, as I said in the video before, Jehovah's Witnesses have a map of the entire neighborhood. Not to spy on you, but to know where each house is. And those of you who don't want Jehovah's Witnesses knocking on your door, all you got to do is tell them, don't come to my house anymore, please. Put me on your list. Don't come to my house anymore. A lot of people will get mad that I'm telling you this. But what I'm telling you is don't waste their time and they won't waste your time. So just tell them, don't come to my house anymore. I don't have a problem telling that to you all. Although I care about all of mankind, I think everybody should be given an opportunity to have that knock. And to ask questions and to have things explained from the scriptures as opposed to going by hearsay if they then you simply say excuse me can you please add me to your list of do not call that's what the list is called it's called the do not call list don't please don't come back to my house anymore could you could you make sure I'm put on that list now by the way if next week they knock on your door tell them I asked you guys to put me in your do not call list can you please make sure I'm on that list? Because sometimes the card is not given to the person who goes and knock on your door. Okay, or sometimes there might be a mistake and the person never received the message to be placed on the do not call list. So all you got to do is say it one more time. Okay, at that point, then you can get upset because you've already asked them not to come back. That's a cease and desist. You, you can look at a do not call as a cease and desist. Stop coming to my house. Jehovah's Witnesses will abide by that. And you won't have to worry about hiding from them anymore. See, that's the, that's the thing that I've always laughed at. People hide from Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> they hide because they've been told to do that. You can hide from the police. You can hide from a thief. You can hide from a mass murderer. But why would you hide from a Jehovah's Witness? All you gotta do is tell them, hey guys, please don't come to my house anymore. They might ask you, is there a reason? I just don't want you coming to my house anymore. I do not want to be a part of whatever you're doing. That's all you gotta say. Like I said, a lot of people are not gonna be happy that I told you that. But I want you to save yourself some time and I want you to save them some time. Let them go to the people who are willing to listen. Okay, let's continue. Oh, and by the way, Remember, those people said, we ain't going to have this in our neighborhood. Mm -mm. Y'all can meet, but, but y'all not meeting in this neighborhood. Now, notice what the people, after they told the people, we ain't going to have y'all throwing rocks no more. That's what they told them next. 
okay? They told them they didn't appreciate them throwing rocks into these people's homes because these neighbors knew these witnesses. But notice what they said next. However, the locals aggressively said that they would not stop doing this. Wait, how can you sit up there and say you don't condone what they did and then say you're not going to stop people from doing what they did? That you're not going to sit up there and tell them they can't do it. How can you say you can't do it and then tell them, but we're not saying you can't do it? That's stupid, ain't it? Let's listen to what the judges had to say. These are Jehovah's Witnesses. Okay. Those are the other people. Oh, God. Another act of vandalism committed against Jehovah's Witnesses. Ladies and gentlemen, why would they burn down someone's house? Jehovah's Witnesses have to work. They have to pay for things just like everybody else. Why would they burn down somebody's house? Because someone says that they're extremists. And there's no evidence, but they say that they're extremists. This is what the news media does. This is what the government does. They knew this was going to happen. Remember, the. let's go back a minute. Oh, oh, that's right. I forgot. Uh, with this YouTube... Um, it don't let me go back to a point, so I'm going to put y'all on pause till we can get there. One second. Do you have such facts that prove this? I open it up in a different window, y'all. No, I don't have these facts. Because I had the volume down so low, you guys couldn't hear them in say court, no, the they don't have the facts. were questioned by about eight lawyers. They have failed to prove any fact that confirms any extremist activity of Jehovah's Witnesses. On the same day of the verdict, strangers threw stones at the headquarters of Jehovah's Witnesses. Now, so what previewed he says. by lawyer Maxim Novakov, who said, because of the status of extremists, there will be widespread use of violence against Jehovah's Witnesses. Is he a prophet? Sorry, Jehovah's Witnesses don't have that. That's those other religions that do that stuff. No, ladies and gentlemen, he's saying what is typical. When you use words like extremists, people have their own ideas of what an extremist is. We're going to go to the actual video. I've downloaded the video so that because this one won't let me go back. See? Oh, it did let me go back. Whew. All the other times it was stopping. So, all right, so because, wait a minute, wait, um, hold on, wait a minute, okay, so we can go to the actual video, no, we can go back here, we gotta go to the burning house, because he had already warned them that that is exactly what would happen, okay, but we're gonna go, that is 5 minutes 35 seconds, Let's go to 5 minutes 35 seconds. 5 minutes 35 seconds, y'all. Oh, no, it's, oh, no, 5 minutes 35 seconds is a total video. Let's go back. Toss to Molotov of vandalism committed against Jehovah's Witnesses. The act was carried out in Moscow. The villager who had already spoken out against the religion tossed to Molotov cocktail at the house of a Jehovah's Witness. Two houses and some cars were destroyed by the fire. The criminal was arrested and charged with persecution. He was charged with persecution. Why not arson? Why not terrorism? Persecution? Well, anyway, it was a huge media then. Jehovah's Witnesses, they had got to find the On May 5th, in Novomoskov. A stranger broke into the building that was once the meeting place of Jehovah's Witnesses and poked the following inscription on the door. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a Kingdom Hall. Or, excuse me, was a Kingdom Hall. What you all don't know is when Russia banned Jehovah's Witnesses, they literally seized all of their properties. That All those buildings you were seeing were buildings that were seized by the Russian government. That's right, they were extremists. So they did an adverse possession and all their property. They did a seizure of all their property. Same as the government does here when they sue property. The same thing. All the governments do the same thing. So when you guys are thinking that, oh, that government is different than ours. We're a democracy. Then you are out of your bunkers, your minds, your gunlet. 
Okay. However, this person, whoever did this, didn't get charged with vandalizing government property. It would be in the news vandalizing Jehovah's Witnesses property. A kingdom hall. Let's notice what this vandal did. Oh. We are going to catch all of you. Three days before the invasion. The Chancellor Angela Merkel already had alerted the need to act in keep of Jehovah's Witnesses directly to Putin. I spoke with Mr. Putin about my concerns about civil rights in Russia, including the rights of various NGOs. I spoke about NGOs, non government organizations. About the various reports of homosexual abuse being carried out in Chechnya. Wait, she ties in homosexuals with Jehovah's Witnesses. Now this is interesting. Let's continue. I have asked President Vladimir Putin to use his influence and power to protect the rights of this minority. I also said that I expect him to do the same in the case involving the Jehovah's Witnesses. That shows you I don't know much about politics. I don't watch this stuff anymore. I didn't. I thought she was Russian. She ain't Russian. I think that she's um, that French woman, but I don't know. But all I can tell you is this, ladies and gentlemen. France doesn't like Jehovah's Witnesses that much either. Neither do the Italians. Remember, they... You said French and the Italians? Oh, you're good. Anyway, they're the ones who taxed them by 70% and the world court ended up reversing that tax and having to pay them those millions, hundreds of millions of dollars back. Okay, let's continue. We need to do more. We need to get rid of this. And we are not making much progress here. I think we need to move right to the point. That agreement of Minsky where it says at the outset that we need to hold a ceasefire. After that, the relevant political steps will come naturally, even if we have already carried out a parallel political process. The ceasefire is essential, but we still have to make progress on the political agreement we have reached in Minsk. She's wearing green, and she don't even wear it well. And I say on behalf of the German government and all the foreign ministers that Oh, that's right, she's German. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Russia and Germany together again. That we will spare no effort to do our part. You guys remember me telling you about the purple diamonds? Well, it was the Germans who incarcerated, not interned, incarcerated. The Purple Diamonds. Purple Diamonds, the other name for them, are Jehovah's Witnesses or Bible students. Okay. Now you got German sitting up here talking about how they're going to work together with Russia. Let's listen. The decision by the Russian Supreme Court has caused widespread international attention. This will certainly be helpful when the witnesses decide to file an appeal to try to cancel this abusive decision. Now, wait a minute. Shouldn't they be picketing? Shouldn't they be marching? Shouldn't they be getting ballots together? Shouldn't they be going out and getting rid of these leaders who are sitting up here doing... No, Jehovah's Witnesses don't do that, people. Jehovah's Witnesses did a letter campaign. They had all the members, all the Kingdom Halls get together and many of the people wrote letters. And so they did a letter campaign. But as far as protesting and picketing, not Jehovah's Witnesses. Why? Because they cannot get involved in such conduct. Well, I don't think that that's your problem. You can keep thinking whatever you want. Jehovah's Witnesses as an organization has scriptural grounds for why they don't do that. Now, if you'd like to understand that, then you need to contact them and ask them. I'm not going to explain it to you here, because here you don't get to ask me questions. But in that setting, you'll get to ask questions. Okay, so ask them. But let me get back to you so that you all understand. 
they are not sad. You don't see no. <laughs> they really get stuff. Oh, God, what have we got to do? <laughs> you don't see none of that going on, do you? You don't see no sad faces as a result of this so-called ruling. Look at them. I'll hold you in contempt. You don't see that happening either. And look, it was just one judge. It wasn't three or five judges. One judge. Okay? One judge, people. That's what happened in Russia. I'm very surprised to find this article here on YouTube. But all I can tell you is, now you know. This is what happens when people label you as extremists. You see, the same thing the government is doing to individuals who refer to themselves as sovereign citizens. Okay, as I mentioned before, especially with individuals who want to refer to themselves as sovereign citizens, you must refer to yourself as part of the people of the United States of America. Because it's the people. Sovereignty resides in the people. That's a collective group. Whenever you hear the word people, it's like saying public. You're speaking of a group. There is not one person who can be a people. I'm not a person. And that's your problem. You guys seem to misunderstand the word person. You must look up the legal definition for person. Actually, look up the legal, def <laughs> legal definition for natural person. It is a statutory claim, statutory code, statutory word, statutory term that describes a particular type of individual. Because the word individual, when you look at the legal definition, means a natural person. Okay? Can you show us where to find that? Well, you can find it in CFR, Code of Federal Regulations, Title 31, Section 363.6, under individual. Individual means a natural person. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, the video entitled The People Everyone Loves to Hate is right here for you to know that they're being hated, y'all. Look at that, burning up houses. And the idiot who threw the Molotov cocktail into the house Apparently, he wasn't hiding. They did not arrest him because he burned up a Jehovah's Witness house, ladies and gentlemen. No, they arrested him. Pay attention. Pay attention. If a Jehu had already spoken out against the religion, tossed a Molotov cocktail at the house of a Jehovah's Witness, two houses and some cars were destroyed by... Two houses and some cars. You see, other people's property was damaged. That's why he was arrested. Vandalism, arson, terrorism. They could have charged him with anything, but they charged him with persecution. Okay? Because it's the event that led to the event. It's the intent. Okay? And only because other people's properties were damaged will he have to suffer consequences. But if it had just been the house of the Jehovah's Witness, I promise you, he would have been getting that. That's being slapped on the wrist, y'all. That's all they would have done, just slap them on the wrist. Don't do that no more. That is your bad boy. Bad boy. Okay, you're not getting any dessert tonight. That's what they would have done. But because somebody else's house was affected, somebody else's property was affected, now they go after him. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, the people who everyone loves to hate. I'm part of that group. I don't mind people hitting me because I do these videos and I know what I know and I don't like people getting over on people because of the stuff that I already know. But I do hate the fact that people try to vilify Jehovah's Witnesses, always say negative things about them. Now, it's not my place to come up and defend Jehovah's Witnesses. I don't need to defend them because they don't need my defending. If they are truly God's people, he will defend them. But these are what the scriptures refer to as the last days. They don't need defending right now. They need protection. And so that's what they look for. That's what they hope for. But defending? No. They already knew these things were coming. That's why you don't see them sad face. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, at 40 minutes into this, I'm going to say have a good day.
Have a good life. Have a good night. Stop hating.